What would happen if every human being on Earth disappeared? This isn't the story of how we might vanish. It is the story of what happens to the world we leave behind. In this episode of Life After People, the fate of our world's prized achievements left enshrined, encased, and buried, protected from the outside world, at least for now. One site guards precious sources of life in a crypt dubbed the Doomsday Vault. Another mysterious cavern conceals priceless expressions from a prehistoric time. Will they protect these treasures for eternity, or just create a prison of the doomed? This is just part of a journey that will take us to the future of once crowded cities, as well as haunting sites already devoid of man. Welcome to Earth, population zero. One week after people, the Patronus Tower soar over the vacant city of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. They are the world's tallest twin buildings, connected by a sky bridge that is the highest ever built. It sits about 400 feet or so in the air, bridging across between the 41st and the 42nd floors. Quite a unique feature. In two separate attempts, human Spider-Man Alain Robert tried to scale one of the 1,483-foot towers with his bare hands. Both times he climbed 60 floors before allowing himself to be apprehended. Two days after people, only the sun climbs its walls. Casualty. Seventy-five years of steamy tropical heat have corroded a part of the Petronas Towers where steel is vital. The supports under the sky bridge. The sky bridge is constructed primarily in steel, and steel is vulnerable to natural decay. The corrosion buckles a supporting leg, turning the sky bridge into a one-way elevator. The twin towers, made of super strength columns, remain intact, but their connection to each other is severed forever. Five hundred years after people, the Petronas Towers may be the tallest man-made structure still standing on Earth, thanks to an extraordinary quirk in their design. In the time of humans, they were the tallest buildings in the world to be supported by a frame of concrete. Most skyscrapers around the world are steel-framed, but Malaysia doesn't have an indigenous steel industry. So these are unique. But five centuries of exposure to tropical sun and torrid humidity has weakened the super-strength cement. The collapse begins where the columns are thinnest, at the top. Cascading debris from one tower triggers the collapse of the other. seconds, the monumental structures are reduced to dust and rubble. You have a progressive effect where both towers collapsed in a crashing heap to the ground pretty much at the same time. It is only a matter of years 
before walls of jungle entomb every trace of the once mighty buildings. In a life after people, worldly goods prove fleeting. The surface of the earth is no place for the artifacts of man. In the next episode of Life After People, the absence of man has turned this amusement park into a monster. All bets are off for mankind's gambling meccas. Casinos power down. The Rat Pack returns. Some famous faces suffer a meltdown. And what falls in Vegas stays in Vegas.